Why did the Indian Navy reject the Tejas fighter jet? Welcome back to our channel. If you're passionate about defense technology, military advancements, and aviation, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving deep into a fascinating topic that combines innovation, ambition, and the challenges of modern engineering. Why did the Indian Navy reject the indigenous HAL Tejas fighter jet? The story behind this decision is not just about one aircraft, but a larger narrative of India's quest for self-reliance in defense manufacturing. Stay tuned as we unravel the technical, operational, and strategic aspects of this decision. 1. Introduction to HAL Tejas and its naval variant The HAL Tejas, a single-engine, multi-role light combat aircraft, has been a symbol of India's efforts to achieve self-reliance in defense technology. Developed by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, and the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, it represents decades of research and indigenous engineering. The naval variant, known as the Tejas N, was envisioned to operate from aircraft carriers like INS Vikramaditya and INS Vikrant. This version required significant modifications to meet the stringent demands of carrier-based operations, including strengthened landing gear, an arrestor hook for deck landings, and a ski jump launch capability. Despite these ambitious goals, the Indian Navy ultimately decided not to induct the Tejas N. But why? To understand this, let's explore the technical and operational challenges in detail. 2. Carrier-based aircraft, unique challenges. Aircraft designed for carrier operations face unique challenges. 1. Short takeoff distance, carrier runways are significantly shorter than land-based airfields. This requires aircraft to have a high thrust-to-weight ratio for quick acceleration. 2. Arrested landings, the aircraft must withstand the immense stress of sudden deceleration using arrestor wires. 3. Environmental toughness, operating in harsh maritime conditions means the aircraft must resist corrosion and function reliably in salt-laden air. The Tejas N was tasked with meeting these requirements, but inherent design and performance limitations posed significant challenges. 3. Technical reasons for rejection. 1. Thrust-to-weight ratio. The Tejas N is powered by the General Electric F404 G Thai N20 engine. While this engine performs well for land-based operations, it lacked the thrust required for short takeoffs from an aircraft carrier with a full weapons payload. This limitation was critical, as carrier-based fighters often need to operate at maximum load. 2. Increased weight. Modifications for naval operations, such as reinforced landing gear and an arrestor hook, significantly increased the Tejas NS weight. This directly affected its maneuverability, range, and overall performance, making it less competitive compared to other carrier-capable fighters. 3. Dot range and payload capacity. Carrier-based operations demand aircraft with long-range capabilities and the ability to carry a substantial payload. The Tejas N fell short in both areas, limiting its operational flexibility and combat effectiveness. 4. Operational Challenges The Indian Navy's operational requirements emphasized versatility and performance. 1. Deck Compatibility The Tejas N required extensive trials to ensure compatibility with the Navy's ski jump carriers. While prototypes managed successful takeoffs and landings, operational efficiency remained a concern. 2. Maintenance and reliability The Tejas NS maintenance needs and reliability in maritime conditions were not on par with international standards. 3. Timeline delays The naval Tejas project faced significant delays, making it impractical for the Navy to wait, given its urgent need to modernize its fleet. 5. Strategic and comparative analysis 1. Comparison with global counterparts Carrier-capable fighters like the Boeing F-18 Super Hornet, Dassault Rafale M, and the MiG-29K offer proven performance, higher payload capacities, and advanced avionics. These aircraft provided a benchmark against which the Tejas N was evaluated. The Navy found that the Tejas N, in its current form, could not compete with these global counterparts in operational scenarios. Two Strategic Alternatives the Indian Navy opted to acquire Rafale M fighters and explore advanced indigenous options like the twin-engine deck-based fighter, TEDBF, which promises to address the limitations of the Tejas N while leveraging lessons learned from its development. 
Sixth, lessons learned and the future of indigenous development. The rejection of the Tejasen is not a failure but a stepping stone. It highlights critical lessons for India's defense manufacturing sector. 1. Focus on requirements, future projects need to align closely with user requirements, especially for specialized platforms like carrier-based fighters. 2. Stronger engines, indigenous aircraft must incorporate more powerful and reliable engines to meet modern combat demands. 3. Timely development, addressing delays is crucial to maintaining the relevance of new platforms. India's ongoing development of the TEDBF and the AMCA, Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, reflects a commitment to building world-class indigenous fighters for both naval and air force operations. Conclusion The rejection of the HAL Tejas by the Indian Navy was a decision driven by operational realities and performance metrics. While the Tejas N didn't meet the Navy's stringent requirements, it has paved the way for more advanced projects that promise to strengthen India's self-reliance in defense technology. The story of the Tejas is a testament to India's growing ambitions and the challenges of creating world-class military hardware. It's a journey of learning, adaptation, and relentless pursuit of excellence. And that's a wrap on today's video. We hope you enjoyed this deep dive into the fascinating world of Indian defense technology. What do you think about the Navy's decision? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated on more exciting content. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.